which is known as the month to celebrate pride, Sioux Falls Pride is also using it to mark an important milestone. They're celebrating 20 years, not just of being an organization within the community, but bringing visibility to a marginalized group. For Sioux Falls Pride President Quinn Kaitner, the Pride flag doesn't just represent her sexual orientation. It symbolizes visibility for the LGBTQ community. I received a message taped to the front of our door from a young community member identifying as gay, thanking us for flying the Pride flag because their father would not fly their flag. Last week, Sioux Falls Pride was denied in the request to have that same flag fly over City Hall for Pride Month. But that's not denying all they've accomplished in their 20 years in Sioux Falls. 2019, we had our very first Pride Parade and an amazing attendance. 2020, it looks a little different, but the empowerment is the same and the visibility remains the same. And I feel very nostalgic and very proud, and especially proud to be a part of the process and provide to our youth what I got as a youth. The Supreme Court ruling in favor of banning discrimination in the workplace was also a huge win. Visibility is one way of us staying alive and healthy and continuing to fight for our rights as people. This Saturday, Sioux Falls Pride is hosting a visibility gathering just outside of City Hall. Within our community, those who are inside the closet, who have not come out to friends or family or even truly come out to themselves, um, this is an opportunity to see other people like them being um, unabashed and uh, proud of who they are. And help them to visualize what can be accomplished over the next 20 years. Visibility is everything. When we have a community that's engaged and is visible, that leaves a legacy for other generations to follow in that, in that footpath. Now Sioux Falls Pride wants to clarify that this isn't a march or a parade, but a gathering. That is so it's inclusive of those with limited mobility. They will also have interpreters for those who are hard of hearing. It goes from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m.